Some other CAD systems have sketching planes, but in Alias we use a construction plane to work at different angles. So on this design, for example, some simple controls have been created on the angle display panel. And if I now wanted to replicate that, I could use a construction plane from the construction palette. And I get five different methods of defining a plane. So I've got the standard three points, or just the world X, Y, Z directions, and geometry, which is the one I'm going to use here. So to illustrate how the geometry plane works, I'll curve snap it onto this side curve. And you can see that it always follows the surface direction as I move it along the curve. So I'll delete that example plane. And now if I want to work on the display panel, then I'll need to snap it to the surface. So I'll do a curve snap. And if you get the pick chooser with curve snap, then you need to keep the mouse button held down and go over to the black pointer and then drag to the point you want to snap to. And the key is not to let go of the mouse button. And to make sure you can snap in the center, just check that your curve snap divisions are set to two. Now, before I set that plane as my construction plane, I'm going to switch to the four windows using F9. And here you can see the normal X, Y, Z grid directions in the 2D windows. But when I hit set construction plane, these windows switch to the construction plane directions. And the X, Y, Z grids are now aligned with the construction plane. So in this top window, for example, I have a true view of the display surface. In the perspective window, the view of the geometry doesn't change, but the grid is moved to the position and orientation of the plane. And this now allows me to, for example, create some cylinders by using grid snap in the top construction plane view. And you can see that it's being created 90 degrees to the face, which is probably what we want from a design point of view. So I'll just position that on the surface and play around with the size. Then I can copy and paste it. And when I move, you can see that the X, Y, Z mouse constraints now work in the plane directions. And also, if I now mirror it, and I'll want the Z and the Y directions, so I'll choose Y, Z, then the mirroring will also respect the plane directions. And that applies to most tools. Now I can select the plane just using the normal pick object. And for example, I can use the Windows Information Information window to rename it. So you can see that the label is updated in the view. And the plane itself is a construction object. And we can toggle it on and off using the Show menu. So if I now go back to four views, then when I want to return to the normal X, Y, Z axes, I just need to use the Toggle Construction Plane tool, which will take me back. And Toggle always switches between the main grid and the most recently set construction plane. And I can have many different planes if I want to, and just use the Set Construction Plane tool to select which one to be my construction plane. So you see how it can be useful for angle dashboards and instrument panels, etc. But here is a slightly different situation where I've been very loose with my CV sculpting and I've only got a rough idea of the display panel angle. So here I could take a different approach and choose a world construction plane and just snap it to the origin to start with. And I can move that around either with the interactive handles or if I click a direction, I can enter, for example, absolute 220 millimeters. And I can rotate it. Again, either interactively, or if I click on the arc and type in, say, 45 degrees. And now if I set that as my construction plane, I can then move into a true side view. And now I can use my snapping and mouse constraints to great effect. So I can pick all of the CVs along this top edge, and then move them vertically and snap them to the grid. And if I now stay in the construction plane, then I can continue to sculpt the shape, but keep that edge planar, which is a really useful technique that we'll use later when we're building the car. Now, if I toggle back to the world grid again, you can see that my view is still twisted. So I've got a couple of options. I can either use the reset button in the view palette and then click in the window, or I can just click on the home button up here and then use Look At to frame the geometry again. 
So we don't use construction planes a lot, but they do help to add some discipline into our surfaces when we're working at different angles.